Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm coming to you with a requested video by one of my lovely subscribers. When should you round up or down for decimal points? When it comes to decimal points, it can be very tricky. But for us, for nurses, it's very important that we understand when and how to round up or down to the nearest decimal point. And it's even more important when we're doing dosage calculation problems and while we're administering medication. Save me a few minutes and I'll help you out a little bit. So right here is a chart that shows the decimal place value. Please be sure to take a look at this chart. I'll try to leave a link down below in my description bar for you so that you can see it more clearly. But basically it shows you what each number is as it corresponds either to the left or right of the decimal point. For medication calculation, it's important to consider only the three figures at the decimal point. So basically the thousands place. Example, 0 0.375 milligrams. And you always want to place a zero to the left of the decimal point just so you can avoid any errors, especially when you're given medication. Now the big question is when should you round? Look at these few clips. Alright guys, this concludes this video. I hope that this video was helpful for you. It's really short, but it's straight to the point. Let me know if I can be of any more help, and I'll see you guys later in the next video. Bye!